Hello, my name is Julissa Cabrera, the JHS Student Body President for the 2021-2022 school year. And on behalf of the Student Council and all the students at JHS, I want to welcome you to our great school. We are thrilled that you will be with us this year, and we can't wait to get to know you and see all the contributions you will make to our school family. Today I'd like to take you on a virtual tour of JHS so that before you step on to our campus, you will have a better idea of where people and places are. We will also go over a few of the most important topics and procedures that you need to know so that you have a smooth first day at JHS. But before we start our tour, we have a special message from Dr. Peacock, the principal at JHS. Hi, I'm Ben Peacock, the proud principal of Jacksonville High School. We want to welcome you to our campus where we hope you will always feel like a member of the JHS family. Here at JHS, we take a lot of pride in our learning and our tradition. So, we hope you have a great year. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to ask me or any of the other awesome adult leaders on our campus. Can't wait to see you soon. Have a great 2021-2022 school year. Thank you, Dr. Peacock, for those words. Later on, we will introduce our assistant principals, counselors, secretaries, and other staff members that you can go to if you ever need help. But for now, let's get our tour started by viewing a map of JHS. As you can see, Jacksonville High School has a very large campus, so let me just point out all the main buildings and other points of interest. Here is the main building, the commons, the band hall, the cafeteria, the English hall, Above the English Hall on the second floor is the auditorium. Here's the choir room and the theater arts room. Above the choir and the theater arts room is the upper gym. Here's the girls' locker room, the lower gym, the multi-purpose building, the field house, and last but not least, the career and technology education building, or as we call it, the CTE. Now let's look at each of these buildings and rooms a little closer, starting with the main building. The main building is the largest and oldest part of JHS, and it's also where our administrative offices are located. If you ever need to see one of our school counselors, you will enter the counselor suite through this door. Mrs. Lewis, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Harris, and Mr. Alvarez are here ready to help you with any questions you may have regarding courses, grades, transcripts, relationships, or just the meaning of the universe. In the same space, you'll find Mrs. Qualine, our registrar, and Mrs. Alexander, our resident technology expert. We have two fantastic front office secretaries, Ms. Viegas and Mrs. McKinney, who are ready to help you with any questions you have. If you ever have questions regarding attendance, you will visit our attendance office and speak with Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Jacobson. Our last stop in the main office are the offices of Dr. Peacock and two of our incredible assistant principals, Mr. Treadwell and Mr. Eden. Right across the hall from the main office is our library. Check with our fantastic librarian, Mrs. Pollard, for the schedule of when the library is open and when you can check out books from the library. Another important place you should be aware of is the nurse's station, where Mrs. Vining, our on-campus registered nurse, is ready to help you with any medical services you may require. The Discipline Center is one more important place you should know about. The Discipline Center Secretary, Ms. Reagan, and one of our assistant principals are here at all times. If you are ever directed to go to the DC, this is where you would go. This is Ms. Swadowski's office. She's one of our four assistant principals, and she's ready to help in any way she can. The College and Career Center is also in the main building, and Mrs. Stevens is ready and eager to help you navigate the big wide world of college applications, financial aid, scholarships, colleges, trade schools, careers, and so much more. The rest of the main building is mainly classrooms, and that's where it gets a little complicated. However, here are a few tips to remember to make locating your classes a little easier. One, remember all your math, science, social studies, and language classes are here in the main building. Two, use these signs hanging from the ceiling to point you in the right direction. Three, use the signs by the doors to locate your room number and teacher. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask any staff member for directions if you get turned around. Before we leave the main building, I should tell you a few things about the commons area. The commons area is where you may meet up for a meeting, but you should not enter the commons unless you have a meeting. Now let's head on over to the band hall. 
This is our band hall, where all our band classes are held. Our award-winning Jacksonville Fighting Indian Band is under the direction of Mr. Barrier and his team of band directors. Just down the hall from the band hall is the cafeteria. This is a great place to take a breather from your long day at school, catch up with your friends, and refuel with a delicious meal to help you make it to the end of the day. Depending on your schedule, you will have lunch at one of these three lunch periods. A lunch, from 11.55 to 12.25. B lunch, 12.25 to 12.55. And C lunch, from 1 o'clock to 1.30. Bon appétit. Now let's go walk over to the English Hall. As the name implies, most English classes are located down the hallway for all grades. If you ever need immediate assistance at the end of the hall is Ms. Bauer's office, one of our helpful assistant principals. Right above the English hallway is the auditorium where you will go for assemblies and programs, but to get there you will have to go outside and enter through here or here. Right across the hall from our auditorium is our main gym where you will go for pep rallies and where most of our home volleyball and basketball games are played. Directly beneath the gym are choir and theater arts rooms. Our choir program is headed by the very talented Miss Hammock, and our theater arts program is led by the incredible Mr. Westbrook. A few doors down from the theater arts room is the girls' locker room, where you will go for girls' PE, and a little further down is the lower gym, where you might go for PE activities. The multi-purpose building houses lots of groups and activities such as soccer, cheer, and drill, and our build house is one of our newest buildings and houses our weight room and administrative offices for our athletics program, which is headed up by Coach Coleman. The final stop in our tour of JHS is the Career and Technology Education Building, which is led by Mr. Boyd, the CTE Director. The CTE is where most of your principal's classes will be, such as agriculture, floral design, business, hospitality, transportation, computers, and several others. It definitely takes a little longer to get to the CTE, so be sure to plan accordingly. So that's our campus. We hope that helps you have a better idea of where things are and who you can go to for help. Before we conclude our virtual tour, I'd like to briefly go over our drop-off and pick-up procedures. If you are a bus rider, the bus will drop you off here on the south side of campus. When you get off the bus, go directly into the main building and down the cafeteria where you can eat breakfast, sit with your friends, work on homework, or just relax before first period starts. And if you are a car rider, whoever is dropping you off can enter the main parking lot through either of these two entries. Then they will follow this route, then drop you off in front of the cafeteria, and you can enter through the main entrance or any of the cafeteria doors. If you drive onto campus, you will park your vehicle in your assigned parking spot and enter through any of these doors near the cafeteria. Just remember, you can only park in your assigned parking spot. Now let's go over our afternoon pickup procedures. Eighth period ends at four o'clock. And if you are a bus rider, you will get on the bus at the same place where you are dropped off in the morning. If you are a walker, when the bell rings at 4 o'clock, you are free to simply walk back home. If you are a car driver, you will exit through either of these two exits. If you are a car rider, you can only be picked up here, outside these doors. Whoever is picking you up will need to line up in either of these two lines near the curb. When you see your car, wherever it is, you are free to walk over to it and leave. You do not need to wait for the cars in front of you to move. Well, that's it for our tour of JHS. If you need any help, reach out to our administrators, counselors, and secretaries. They are more than ready to assist you in any way they can. Again, we can't wait to meet you, and remember, once an Indian, always an Indian.